Excitement in the air here on campus at Colorado State University. Students are back in session, and that obviously means it's time for some volleyball. Hi, everybody. Matthew Wozniak here with your Colorado State volleyball update. Joining me is the coach, Tom Hilbert, back for another year. On well, this one, you've got all kinds of pressure on you, right? Yeah, actually, we do, and it's we lose five seniors, and yet everybody they're still putting pressure on us. You know, they expect us to be really good, and and I, you know, I, I understand why because the bulk of our team did come back. We've got some very talented kids in that junior class. Um, but, you know, we've been good year in and year out. Yeah. And I think that, uh, you know, the standard for us, too, is we want to go out and win a Mountain West championship. We want to beat some of these teams in the preseason. And and it's a tough schedule. Yeah, we'll focus on that preseason in just a moment. But first, as head coach Tom Hilbert mentioned, the preseason polls for the Mountain West just came out. Colorado State picked to uh, defend their title here. Ten first place votes, one Non first, but I know who I know who voted that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, Wyoming's a very, very talented young squad. We'll talk about them down the line. But we want to talk about your players that you just said a moment ago are coming mm -hmm. back. You had four players on the preseason Mountain West all-tournament team or preseason all-team. Uh, Brianna Runnels, Katie Olixak, as well as uh, Kirsty Hillier and Paulina Hogarth Jensen. Your middles and outside, it's all that front line. What's going to be their strengths this year? Well, we are very good in the middle in that both of our middles are seasoned players. They have different attacking styles. Paulina's a lateral attacker, mm -hmm. one foot takeoff kind of person, and Kirsty's a up in the air attacker. But they're good blockers. They understand what their jobs are, mm -hmm. you know. And I think both of them are very seasoned players. So I feel very confident if we stay healthy in that position that they're going to be a staple for us. And then Brianna Runnels is a very good player and getting better. He got, has gotten better in the last oh, yeah. two weeks. I mean. She's she's a special player, and Katie Olixak, obviously, player of the year. Um, very active, very athletic setter that moves around, and and I, uh, you know, and, and I think I think the coaches in the Mount West know this. She's not just an athletic setter that can put the ball where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. She's a leader, yeah, and she is important to the fabric of our team. Mm -hmm. And so those four are a really good base to start with, and so I understand why people are voting us so high. Well, let's stick with Katie Olixak, the preseason player of the year. Obviously, she's just a dynamic performer. You just mentioned that just a moment ago. What can you do to challenge her to get better? What do you see that she can still improve oh, on? Uh, there's a lot. I mean, and it's not, I'm not saying that in a negative way, right. There's, but there's a lot because we we're bringing new new players onto the court with us. And each one of them, you have to be very specific about how you can get them a hittable ball. How do you get them the ball that's ideal yep. for them? Um, and that's something she's got to figure out and learn. She moves around the court very well. She's very active. She touches everything. Um, she has to make sure that her locations are absolutely perfect yeah. because that's we're going to need that. Mm -hmm. So Colorado State, that's looking ahead to the Mountain West schedule, but uh, a lot of challenges in the middle. you got five teams that were uh, in the NCAA tournament last year on your schedule, starting out this Friday with the University of Illinois. Let's begin with them. Now, you started the big – you've had this tradition for a while, trying to drum up support, get people interested in things. You stormed Old Town uh, just this past week. Talk about how that tradition began and, and how important that is for your players and you to, to reach out to the community. Well, I – I've been doing that my entire career. Okay. And I, I believe that people come to sporting events because you develop a relationship. Mm -hmm. You develop, uh, they, they get to know players and they want to go see those players play. Mm -hmm. And so it's one fan at a time, really. It's not going to happen with a free t-shirt or a, you know, a rally towel or something. It's going to be meeting someone and them saying, hey, I want to come you bet. to these games. And so we go out into Old Town and we pass out schedules, and we're and, and it, it, it's impactful when someone's sitting in a restaurant and 13 six-foot-tall <laughs> volleyball players walk in. Yes, you know what indeed. I mean? And so for that just two- to three-minute period, they're talking about Ram Volleyball, and that's what our goal is. We want to get out and, and make this community talk about us and know top of mind we're starting our season. And the other thing that Colorado State did, not only uh, spreading out from the Fort Collins community at large, but they had an exhibition match down in Denver where they took on the Roadrunners of Metro State, a 3 nothing sweep in that. What were you trying to work on, and what did you see that you accomplished in that exhibition? Well, we saw a lot. I actually, we saw a lot. Good. We, we, there were some glaring things that we were not doing very well that we came back, and we are now working on those things. And we also changed where Olivia Nicholson was playing. Okay. So that 
and will we stick with that? I don't know. I think you're going to see a lot of flux in our, our, our lineup throughout the course of the year. So Colorado State's tuning up for their uh, season opener here at Moby Arena when they welcome in the University of Illinois this Friday. And then it's a quick turnaround, an 11 o'clock start before the football match. Mm -hmm. uh, the football team takes to Canvas Stadium at 5.30. The Rams play at 11 a.m. this Saturday. Make sure you come in and start your tailgate off right here with some uh, volleyball here at Moby Arena. But first things, the number 12 team in the country, you always make a big deal of it. You and I are both in total agreement. This can be one of the best volleyball environments in the entire country. Uh, it is the whiteout. It's another chance for a sales pitch here. What's so mm -hmm. special about the whiteout? Well, everyone is excited, mm -hmm. and the students are back. They're fresh. They're ready to make some noise. So it's a very lively, energetic environment for everybody mm -hmm. because there'll be 3,000 students in the house, you know. And uh, the, the whole arena look draped in white looks pretty cool so that adds to it and i think the you know it's the first match of the year the players can sometimes play with jitters like we did last year but mm -hmm. certainly they're going to come out and appreciate what it is going around around them and, and help them kick this season off the right way and at the end of the day you just want to give a chance to spark that yeah. moby magic that Absolutely. moby madness and, and you bring in great talent great challenges yeah. and great opponents and you get that done so let's talk about the last thing you had a warm-up uh, not too long ago we had ourselves a pep rally with the largest freshman class in colorado state university team was out there dancing was having great. a good time i know they were and it, you know our team likes to do this stuff, and I think they are convinced that building these relationships and being seen is important to them. And they high fived every senior, every not senior, every freshman coming into that stadium. They're out leading cheers and dancing, and and really, you know, just again being seen. Uh, so that they're at the top of people's minds. Yep, it's a great opportunity, Colorado State, a tradition of excellence, a tradition of championships, and another season just about to kick off here this Friday. Well, Coach, appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Good luck this Friday, and I'll see you on Monday. All right. That's head coach Tom Hilbert. We'll be right back on the Colorado State Volleyball Update with Katie Oleksak. Don't go away. Welcome back to the Colorado State Volleyball Update. Pleased to be joined by the quarterback, the setter, Katie Oleksak, the Mountain West Preseason Player of the Year, last year's Player of the Year. Katie, before we talk about the upcoming season, let's talk about your summer. After earning accolades in the Mountain West, you had a pretty good opportunity to go overseas and play. What was that like? It was awesome. Um, I went with the USA Collegiate team, and we flew into Venice, Italy, and then practiced for a week in Slovenia and competed in Croatia. How many games and how many days? Let's see, we were there for a total of 14 days, I think, um, and the whole second week we played two games a day. Oh, wow, um, two games. That's a pretty grueling schedule. Yeah, there. yeah, I was really busy. First, the whole first week was practice twice a day, so it was, you know, really intense with volleyball, but it was really fun. What was the general makeup of that squad? Obviously, I think you had a, a teammate mm -hmm. around to help you out, but you met a, a lot of other competitors and made new friends, right? Isn't that part of the process? Yeah, it was awesome. There were girls from all around the nation, um, right side from Stanford, some girls from Washington, some Kentucky girls who we've actually played against, mm -hmm. Kirstie, of course, and just a lot of other really strong, talented players. What was the level of competition like? 
it was it was good. There were half European teams, half American teams. Okay. And it's ironic we actually faced our Mountain West All Conference team in the finals. So that was fun. We got to play against Brianna Reynolds. And how'd that go? Did you get the victory? We did. We won. Um, <laughs> That's go USA, so unfair. But <laughs> so now you're just going to hang it over Brianna yeah, the entire season, you and Kirsty, right? Exactly. Kind of feel like a little traitor, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, a great off season. Obviously, it never quits. You're always out there working on new skills, meeting new uh, challenges, and now you come back here to Fort Collins to start your junior year. I mentioned you are the Mountain West preseason player of the year, and uh, your team's ranked in the top 25. A lot of I don't know, expectations, maybe a little bit more weight. Do you feel any more pressure having all of those uh, accolades hanging around, or is it just business as usual for you? Um, I try not to let those affect me, just business as usual. You know, go about day by day and try to work hard and uh, rise up to those expectations. What do you feel like now that you have an established leader? Obviously, you lost a lot of talent last year. The Rams graduated a handful of seniors, some important contributors, a lot of leadership maybe. Now, as a junior here, you've been running the show for a few years. Do you feel that maybe some of the intangibles, off-the-court leadership in practice, do you feel that you have to pick up that mantle a little bit? Yeah, I mean, definitely being the oldest one on the court, but I know that we have a nice group of juniors, and together we can work together to really take over those leadership positions that we might have lost. At the same time, when we talk about uh, Colorado State losing a number of seniors, there's an awful lot of talent coming back, which is why the Rams are the number one team in the Mountain West in the preseason polls, as well as I mentioned, 25 in the AVCA poll. Is there a comfort level that uh, kind of makes it easier for you to adjust and, and get into the flow of this upcoming season? It is really nice to look left and right and see you know, I've been playing with these girls, and a lot of us have been playing since freshman year, so that definitely does help. Um, but obviously, we're not going to get comfortable, but yeah, it does help to have those people that you've been playing with um, side by side. And a person in your position has an awful large responsibility in that you have to start getting some of the new faces in tune to what's going on, what you expect in practice. How's it been bringing in some of the new, uh, the newcomers? It's good. It's always fun. It's always a challenge, you know, because each one of them hits a little bit differently. Um, you know, Sasha, she plays a little differently because she's from Europe, but I take it as a challenge and it's really fun to try and meet that. Of course, speaking of challenges, Colorado State welcomes in the University of Illinois, ranked 12th in the preseason poll. You always want big challenges on a big night in a whiteout. You had a lot of fun with your teammates uh, storming Old Town. You even had a kid's clinic out yeah, there, didn't you? What was yeah. that like? That was fun. We had a bunch of kids. It was a free clinic. They just came out and we, you know, played volleyball with them down in Old Town Square. So I think that was a really good marketing thing and it was also fun for us. So when you look back at uh, your two years here, it's not just playing volleyball. It's not mm -hmm. just being a student athlete going to school. You also have to get out in that community. You have to yeah. start drumming up some, some support. Do you enjoy that part of the, of, of the job, getting out there and, and meeting new Ram fans and making new volleyball fans? I do, definitely. And I love when I go out to dinner with my friends and people are like, oh my gosh, you play CSU volleyball and I don't even have a shirt on. <laughs> and so I love those things and just that the community knows who we are and I think that makes it so much more fun to play here. Well, you got a big challenge upcoming this season. What are some of your goals going into the uh, non-conference schedule? Obviously, I mentioned you got mm -hmm. that big matchup against Illinois as well as uh, UNC Wilmington coming up uh, on Saturday. What are your goals for the preseason as you work your way towards uh, defending your Mountain West Championship? Preseason is just key to, um, you know, getting good rankings in postseason. So I think if we just have a goal in beating those really high, highly ranked teams, then I think we'll be good. Excellent. You ready to get this started? I am. Colorado State welcomes in Illinois on Friday and a match at 11 a.m. this Saturday against the Seahawks of UNC Wilmington. Katie, thanks. Thank you. See you next time on the Colorado State Volleyball Update.